Hello, faith eaters, and welcome to break time. Philippians 2 2. It said, Paul's going to give him a warning. He says, Watch out for those dogs, those evil doers, those mutilators of the flesh. And it's, I'm going to stop there. I was going to go on, but I think, you know what? There's a lot there. Watch. He's giving them a warning because what started creeping in is people who believed that circumcision was the way to faith, that you had to be circumcised. Remember that was Abraham. That was in the law, but now Jesus has come. And because of his great act of mercy and grace and his great passion, circumcision was no longer a symbol of being saved being knowing who christ is and so he started he was pretty attacking he called them mutilators of the flesh they were adding to salvation that here jesus came in the flesh and as his flesh being you know torn and he now was who we receive as our salvation not circumcision wasn't a part of it and what I think he detested more was people putting their, their confidence and their faith in their acts instead of putting their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Putting their faith in what they did instead of who, they, who Christ is and who Christ is in them. And it's the same message to you and to me. And we need to be very cautious of this religious spirit that can creep into any believer's mind and in any church. That when we believe that we have to do something to earn favor with God or to earn our salvation, and then therefore we, we become, we feel better about ourselves when we do this. It's not, faith isn't about us feeling better about who we are and our acts that we do for God. It's our, it's, it, it, that gets it all confused. We, we know Christ and as a result of a personal relationship with him, is is where christianity it, it's that's what it's all about it's not because of all the ways that we serve him even though those ways are all fantastic but we can start pumping ourselves up we can start putting the mirror before ourselves and and looking at it and thinking how great we are because we're doing this we we have this bible study we we're sharing our faith like radical people and you know we're on fire for god and all of a sudden we realize is that fire coming from God or is that fire coming because we want to feel better about ourselves? Those are things that you have to be cautious of. It can creep in subtly and slowly and we can even feel pride over our devotional life. So we need to be cautious that where, we, where, we're, where we're sensing our worth, our worth is in our relationship because of who Christ is. And it's right there that we can be seated and know that we're secure there because of our because of who Christ is. And we remain right there in the arms of Christ. And as a result of that is where our good works pour out, not the other way around. We don't do good works to try to earn favor, but we sit at the feet of Jesus Christ and have this heart motivation to serve. You, my blessed friend, have a blessed day being in love with Jesus.